Hi, my name is Hyun Khan and today I'm going to show you uh, the task list functionality in SharePoint 2013 technical preview. So here I am actually at a root level site called Team Site and I'm in the View All Site Contents page and I'm just going to click New Subsite because I'm going to first create a new subsite and call it the New Team Site. And just to show you, I select the team template the same way and create the site. Oops. <coughs> add <coughs> the name of the site, go ahead and create a new team site. And once that site is provisioned, you see this default um, uh, web part that comes up, uh, the new metro style look. I'm going to go ahead and create the task list as it's not created in the default team site as it used to be in SharePoint 2010. So now that I'm in this new team site, you can see up top here in the name, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and create, si click site contents. I'm going to add an app. This is a new concept in SharePoint 2010. So instead of lists and libraries, everything is now an app. And uh, you'll be able to even download stuff from the App Store. <coughs> More on that later. I'm going to go ahead and find, uh, these are all the different apps that are available. I'm going to go ahead and find uh, anything that has the name tasks and sure enough there's a task list template there I'm gonna go ahead and click that so I want to use it and then just say call it tasks also so that's my new tasks list now on the left menu I can see under recent there's a task list so when I click it I am taken to the task list all items page now this is a new look and feel for the task list and I'm really excited about this. The first thing that you'll see is that there's a timeline view here. If I click that on the ribbon you'll see the timeline tab comes up and you can change the font etc and you can say show the task dates, show today. I can take that off if I wanted to and you can even format the dates how they show up. Right now they're showing up like this which is fine by me. <coughs> So, um, very nice functionality. And here, uh, the entire look obviously for 2013, as you've noticed by now, is uh, very new. Um, and the add new item or going to the edit list are right up top here. And underneath it are all the different views. And I can uh, click this ellipsis and go to any of the other views. So, really nice uh, UI experience here um, in 2013. So, let me go ahead and create a new task. I'm going to click new and <coughs> provide SharePoint 2013 task list demo and I'm going to say I'm going to start this today and finish it um, tomorrow. Um <coughs> I can assign of course all of that stuff is the same. I'm going to go ahead and save it and now you can see right here that that um, task got saved. Um, one of the new things is this ellipsis again here and when I click that it's instead of that chevron drop down that you saw now there's this ellipsis and uh, you can uh, do a few things. First of all you get to see the URL right away so that's really nice. It's even telling you when it's due. It's due tomorrow. I can open this I can add it to the timeline, so let me go ahead and add it to the timeline. <coughs> right there, you see Provide SharePoint 2013 Task List Demo. And I can remove from type timeline, or I can create a subtask. I can even further find out more stuff about this, of the view item and permissions and so on. But I'm going to go ahead and create a subtask. Now this is slightly different than in SharePoint 2010 where you really had folders um, in the project task list you had the folders that sort of did this but this is very nice and clean so um, the first thing is record the demo then um, publish on YouTube and then uh, tag it so as you can see I just created three sub tasks here very fast very easily I'm gonna go ahead and give them some um, uh, timelines too. I can of course open the entire item and I can say um, do this today and I'm going to also finish it today <coughs> and I can now of course do the same thing here with the second task um, but 
you saw that view I had, that Gantt view where I could, or this data sheet view where I could add stuff very easily. Well, that's a new view, um, and I'm going to go ahead and create one just like that. So I'm going to create a view called of type data sheet. Now, this data sheet view is very different from uh, in SharePoint 2010 because I don't need um, Office or uh, Microsoft Access installed whereas in the last version you did. So here I'm in the datasheet view and I can quickly put uh, the dates here. So I'm going to say this is also due date today and this is also due today. And if I wanted to complete that task I just click that and that task would be completed. We go ahead on all tasks and you can see that that task is completed just by checking that off. <coughs> if this task's deadline I'll make that yesterday. So let me go ahead and go back and say that uh, publish on YouTube the time the due date was yesterday. If I did that, it's, um, what you'll see if I didn't complete this is that um, it would show in red, show up as yesterday in red. So it's a nice way of just seeing um, what's going on. <coughs> also, when I cl uh, click, uh, let me just show you when. I have not done anything, the percentage complete is zero, and the task status is not started. Um, and if I just check this, what will happen if I uh, open this is that the, ta the percentage complete has been set to 100 and task status to completed. Whereas in 2007, you had to manually do both of those steps just to complete a task. So it's definitely a design around um, users to work fast with this. Um, <coughs> it's it's really done well um, I want to show you um, I think I showed you create a subtask feature here but you can also just check this and go into list here or a rather task here and indent this task so let me if I wanted to make the tags a subtask of the publish um, your video just like in Microsoft Project I can do that um, so very nice I can also show all tasks etc and here I'll just stop editing. <coughs> so that is in a nutshell some of the functionality for tasks in 2013. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more at SharePointImplemented.com.